Welcome to another PCT Short. I'm Jonah Johnson. Today we're staying in a cornfield. If you notice around me, we have varying sizes of corn plants. And this is pretty indicative across Ohio right now, as we know we had varying growing conditions. And the question of the day is, is how do I grow stage my corn when we have varying sizes in the field? We have corn plants over here from V4 to V6, plants over here that range up to V9, and elsewhere in the fields even larger. So We've looked at that, we've showed videos on that in the past, how to do our smaller plants, and that's much easier when all the leaves are attached to those plants still. But this time of year, we get rapid elongation and also the variance in fields. Leaves at the bottom of the canopy start to senesce and fall off that corn stalk. So it begs the question, how do I accurately measure height or the growth stage of my corn plant? So the quickest way to do that is to dig those plants up, cut the plants longitudinally in half, and then you look for the triangular at the base, and then that triangle with holds nodes one through four. So that would be growth stages one through four. And every node where a leaf is attached to that corn plant, from then up, it has a fully erect snap ligule collar. You would add those numbers back to that four, and that gives you your growth stage of your corn plants. And that becomes very important because we've got to get an average across our field, and that's most important in regards to pesticide label cutoffs. So the next layer of complexity is if the label dictates plant height. So the way you go about measuring that is you go out to your corn plant, you find a leaf that has the tallest leaf that's starting to droop and arch, and it's at least 50% collared or more. And we take our tape measure down to the soil surface, and we measure up to the apex or where that leaf starts to make its bend, and we measure that. So in this case here, this corn plant measures 30 inches. So then you would take that height multiple times in the field, check your label, and that will give you your height for cutoff. So for more information on that, feel free to follow up with any of your local ASAs or any of us on the PCT team. I'm Jonah Johnson. Thanks for watching.